Hey, what's going on? Mike Hobbs here. And in this video, I just want to answer this question that I got from a new member inside of our community. And I think this is going to be valuable for anybody who is building a home-based business. And here's the question. I started my business in February of last year. No knowledge, no skills, no clue of what to do. I really had just focused on building my audience and trying to acquire the knowledge and skills needed to build it up. And so his question was, is it mandatory to have an autoresponder right now from the outset? He does not have a list yet. So I wanted to really point this out because he was building his audience since February of last year. So that's over one year of building his business and has no list yet. And I wanted to really point that out because your list when building a home business or internet marketing is your number one asset. Okay. Number one asset. So when you think about real estate and you think about all these different other investments, they have their, there's different assets that you can acquire in your life, but in a home-based business, an internet marketing business, your list is your number one asset. So when he asks, is it mandatory to have an autoresponder from the outset? absolutely mandatory. Okay. And I know that sounds weird because yes, you can make sales. Technically you can go out there, you can message people, you can send them directly to your affiliate link and make a sale. But I will tell you that is a short term and you will not be able to make residual sales. And with a list, you can make residual sales. I know a lot of people in here like residual income. Let me know in the comments if you like residual income. But do you, would you like residual sales as well? And that's what an email list will do for you. And so a couple other insights on this. I was on a training a couple of weeks ago from a person named Diane Hockman. She's a awesome member of our community. I followed her for many, many years. And one of the things she said on her webinar was instead of marketing for sales, you should market for your list. And that was a super profound statement to me because I understood this because I know the power of my email list. When I send out an email about something, just even this video, I'm going to send out to my email list and people that have been on there for years are going to see it. And it, those that resonate with what I'm having to say, they usually go to my link and purchase the product that I'm selling. And if I would have, and, and I kid you not, this was actually last month. I made around 10 sales in the last 30 days. And six of those sales came from follow-up, came from follow-up. And so get this, had I just sent them the link right from the onset and said, Hey, go check out this link. I would have had six less sales this, this month. And but because I put them on my email list and then I sent out a couple follow-up messages, they all joined from the follow-up. They didn't join from the initial. And in fact, I hardly ever get any sales from the initial conversation or the initial lead. And there was one sale, and I thought this was pretty cool, where he opted in to one of my lead magnets, the 21 video ideas. And then a couple of days later, he went through another lead magnet, my DMARC training. And a couple of days later, he went through another lead magnet, my 5G marketing checklist. And then I saw a commission notification come through. And so this person went through multiple trainings that I provided from my email list and then eventually ended up joining. Had I, again, had a conversation with this person, only gave them the affiliate link, they would not have joined. That's it. End of story. When you send your affiliate links directly and you don't focus on building an email list, which it sounds like this person did because he was building his audience. And so basically he was probably doing videos like, Hey, like, and share my content. That's it. He wasn't getting people on his email list. And so when I look at someone who has done work for one year with zero email list, they are not doing it correctly. And one thing that we like to do in our community is we like to teach you the correct method. And I'm going to give you one tip today. 
So let's say you're having a conversation with somebody. So let's say just one-on-one -on -one conversation, you're asking about their business and then they, and then you get to the question, Hey, are you open to taking a look at a business that can help you with yada, 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 whatever you guys are talking about. And they say, yes, here's what someone who will get no results will do. They will say, okay, here's the link and that's it. <laughs> okay. That's one way to do it. Okay. And then they go to your link and then one and done, they don't join. Then later on, you have to follow up. So someone who can, can get results from that would follow up via messenger later on, maybe in a week or two or whatever. They'd follow up. Hey, did you have a chance to look at the information? Yada, yada, yada. And they follow up manually. That's one way to do it. And yes, you potentially could make a sale if you follow up. But if, what if you don't? What if you forget to message them back? What if you forget to do all that manual follow up later? Well, this is the way that I do it. Instead of once they say they're open to taking a look, instead of giving them the link, I ask, hey, what's your best email I can send this information to? Then I get 100% of people, especially if they're interested in what I'm talking about, I get 100% of people give me their email address. 100%. When I send them to my link, Hardly anyone joins, like 0% join. And then if I give them to an opt-in page, like 50 to 60% opt-in. Or I say, hey, what's the best email to send this information to? And now 100% of people usually send me their email. And when I get their email, guess what I do? I go and I put them in my autoresponder and I have my autoresponder send them an email. Now I have an email list. And so to answer this question, should you have one from the onset? Yes, because your very first conversation should be on your email list. One person, anyone you ever talk to, any marketing you ever do should be to get them on your email list. And I did this last night on our webinar when I was talking about this, but I really want to highlight <laughs> this word because... You need them on your list, okay? That's the most important thing when building a home-based business. So yes, it's absolutely mandatory to have an autoresponder when you're building your business. And the one that I recommend is GetResponse. If you wanna find out more about the one that I use, if you guys go to seekprosperity.com, I have a whole bunch of cool resources on here. And if you scroll down to marketing tools I use, you will see my favorite marketing tool. And I show you the top seven reasons why I use GetResponse. And then if you wanna find out about the business that I'm building, you can go over right here to under residual income. And we also do a lot of coaching and helping you over the shoulder. In fact, I am literally on a Zoom right now, okay? And uh, if everyone wants to wave hello to everybody, <laughs> like, see, see, I'm on a Zoom right now, and I'm doing my marketing over the shoulder in front of them and answering questions for them, and that's what we do in our community to help you with your marketing, okay? So if you want to plug into any of our resources, you can go over to seekprosperity.com, Download any of these resources for free. Look at our residual income business. And if you want to know the best autoresponder that I recommend, it's right there under marketing tools that I use. So with that, I hope I answered this question. I hope you got a little bit of value and more insight on what you should be focusing on. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and bye for now.